I've seen Bill Gates say in that little uh, yuppie voice, and then what we need to do is mm, get this graph down to zero on carbon dioxide being output on the earth. How are we going to do that? Well, humans are the main thing, and we, we put out individually this amount at the TED conference. What do you think about that? Everybody goes, ah, and he goes, that's right. We've got to get this down to zero. And he puts his clicker and puts an image of a human up there. And all the little anti-human control freaks, you know, that mommy never disciplined, like get off on the thrill of, ah, 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 we're going to kill everybody. And Gates laughs with, mm, uh. and, and then there's a, I should do a special newscast on this on the nightly news where I just show a little giggling about killing us. The giggling about killing us at TED conference. The giggling about killing us at another conference where he said, if you, okay, mm -hmm, why is old Nellies that rule us? If we um, get rid of grandma and don't give her end of life care, we are 10 teachers. What do you think about that? And I was like, oh yeah. Uh. I mean, it's just like scum, Nazi filth, trash, garbage, maggots. We are all ruled by little chicken neck Nellies going, uh, kill everybody. I get off when I talk about t cutting people's power off. I'm a Nelly. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Just simpering control freaks in big nerd packs, taking everything over, ruling everything, becoming police officers with weapons, tasering us for fun. I've had it with control freaks and scum. You people are cancer. Uh, 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 all right, I'm not in a good mood now. I just I start, I start thinking about Bill Gates up there with that little chicken neck. Uh, hopping or now, a little murdering eugenicist. Uh, you know how he walks like, uh, uh, like a demonic elf. Hey, Bill Gates. Uh, uh, I'm going to shoot you up with something that's going to kill you down in the hammer. How's a 30-year death from gut disease sound, African children? Roll up the sleeves. I'm a little chicken neck bastard, and nobody's got the will to see what I am. But by the way, all that NPR voice, all that Nelly stuff is Delphi technique training. Those people really don't talk like that. You research these globalists, they like to beat women and rape people, and they go in and have sword fights with each other with their trainers, and they're just savage. I mean, behind the scenes, they're just like, Rah! But they come out and go, hi, I'm liberal. Oh, I want to be your friend. And guess who else is told by his focus groups? Glenn Beck didn't used to act like that. He used to act a little more like this. Glenn Beck was taught to act like a Nelly. Have you noticed how they all act like little Nellies? That's to make you think they're non-threatening and like them like they're a harmless little cute thing. Because they've done psychological warfare tests and found that a lot of you are cowards or have been induced into cowardice and are threatened by real male activity. That's why I'm telling you, anybody that acts like a Nelly, watch them. In power. If it's a piano teacher, that's a different thing. Watch them. It's a cover, okay? I see all of you. I see exactly what you are, psychopathic criminals. You see, I think when I get up here and get angry at the New World Order and tell you how evil they are, that you've got courage and want to defeat them. People that are ignorant send me emails and say, why are you trying to scare people? I'm not trying to scare somebody. If I, if I tell my kids, don't go out in the highway, there's cars will run you over and kill you. I'm not trying to scare them. I'm telling them about a reality that's there. I believe from history and my own gut instinct that if I go ahead and lay it out all out here, what we're really facing, you've got courage and you've got will, and you're going to get angry and stop caring. It begins with not caring about what your slack-jawed, knuckle-dragon, cowardly, pseudo-tough guy, football-watching neighbor thinks. Okay? That's where it begins. It begins with not caring what happens to your individual person. And when you have that attitude, when you have that attitude, then the enemy doesn't have anything over you anymore. Stop being gelded, domesticated garbage. Stop being weak. And when you see a threat come down on you, deal with it. Become a human again. Stop being weak. We got a bunch of criminals coming down on us. Good. 
murdering scum. I want to get humanity awake. I want to get our forces up. And then I want to bring these people to justice. And you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I want to unleash humanity. Not have a bunch of con artists, pot bellied, chicken neck, pieces of garbage running our world. More importantly, they act like effeminate, cowardly chicken necks because they want to train you to act like that. They want to train you to be weak. God. They want to train you. That's a nasty taste coming up in my mouth. I'm tasting those globalists. I can taste their fear and their weakness. I taste metal. I taste blood. Probably shouldn't be on air today. I almost didn't do the show today because I'm in a bad mood, man. And then looking at Al Gore's fat, ugly face doesn't help. And pulling up the image of Bill Gates, that piece of garbage, and all the stuff he's done to innocent people it makes me want to throw up. Oh, boy, I tell you, I tell you, we're going to get people awake to you, you bastards, and we're coming for you. We're coming straight for you, and you know it. That's why you're so scared. That's why you're moving so fast now. And you just better keep doing that dance, because you can feel that flame of rebellion starting to lap up and lick right up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Ah! Man, you know what it's like to be able to see these people, to know who they are, to just see them conning everybody? I am so sick of it. I am so tired of it. I've never liked con artists. I've never liked scammers and bullies and scum, and I don't want to be ruled by them, and I sure don't want you to be ruled by them. All right, we're going to break, and we'll come back, I'll come back, I'll come back, I'll come back. I'll come back with Jason and Adam and Chris and Tim and Severin and everybody else. Uh, we're going to come back. I'm going to try to settle down. But I start thinking about all those effeminate men with their legs all crossed, with little twitly looks on their face, giggling about killing humanity. I mean, it's a normal response to a pack of scum saying they're going to kill you to get angry, ladies and gentlemen, and then to have to fight them day after day after day and know the facts and know the proof upon proof upon proof of their guilt, and then to sit there and have ninnies on the street argue with me and throw cliched statements about conspiracy theories back when I'm giving you history and facts. That's why I get enraged here on air, because it is just ridiculous.